Well, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Atlantis 1957 Cadillac Eldorado Brome build. And as you can see, there's just a big old piece of foam sitting on the table. This is actually going to be the base of the diorama. What I decided to do is, like I said in a previous video, I've always wanted this as a car of mine, so I'm going to make a diorama of it sitting in my driveway. <laughs> as weird as that may sound, but I thought it'd be kind of neat. Something different. Maybe, maybe title it Saki's Dream Car or something like that. But anyways, what we are going to end up doing is, this is going to be the base. I'm going to uh, make the diorama and everything and then I'm going to use balsa wood, I believe, and stain it and use it as like a decorative uh, framing around it. And then that way it'll be lightweight as well. I won't have to worry about it weighing in too much. And I am going to use this foam board that I got. You just drop the other piece on the floor. This foam board like so to create Oh my gosh, tearing stuff apart. Wow, <laughs> it's getting tight in my work area here. Well, at least that paint deal will be all shook up nice. Wow. Anyways, better watch what I'm doing. A little added drama there. But we're gonna, first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna poke a bunch of holes in the top of the foam. And why am I doing that, you might ask? Might ask? Well, this is an old trick I learned from somebody when I was building balsa airplanes. They tell you to take a pin and poke the balsa to create these little um, pockets in it and then when you glue the glue will seep down in there and uh, creates a better bond they say I don't know if that's true or not I have had success with it though I don't know if it makes it stronger but it's that added sense of security I guess after we're not going to put glue on it. What I'm going to put is some, some plaster to use as a base for the diorama for everything to go off of. And I might be just doing some unnecessary work, but like I said, makes me feel like I'm doing a little more work than I need to, maybe. But there, we, we roughed it up a little bit to hopefully make that plaster stick a little better. What I plan on doing is plastering this. I'll let it dry. I'll take it out to my uh, garage and do a block sanding to even out the edges to make sure everything's nice and square. And I'll also do a sanding on the plaster before I start adding the glue and then the uh, like the gravel and the um, grass and everything. I got a static grass machine, which I'm anxious to try out because I've never used one before. All right, that's enough of that. And anyways, let's, uh, I kind of mixed this up a little bit before I started the video. It was a little runny in spots. Let's just start up here. I don't know. I think it is kind of gonna, kind of gonna, um, 
help hold it down a little bit. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a bad idea after all. It's still a little, a little wet in spots. Kind of hard to mix that stuff when it's in such a small tub. As you can see, I'm not good at frosting the cake. <laughs> applying a little bit more pressure than I need to. And we're not going perf for uh, perfectly flat either. I'll uh, end up sanding it down a little bit to uh, especially where the building's going to go All right, now we're getting somewhere Starting to look like something now. On the edges, maybe a better. Just kind of go along the edges. Like so. They seem to be as soon as I get to the edge, I. There we go. Nice, even pressure. And basically, what it's going to be, it's going to be the main street here. We're going to have a little bit of driveway up the middle where our Cadillac's going to sit. And then it's going to just be a partial single stall garage with a walkway on each side and then grass area off to the side of the driveway. So, yeah, nothing fancy, 
So I'm not really worried about that being too too perfect leaf flat. Spot there. Let's add a little more. That'll work. That'll work out quite nice. And we'll just do this edge at the end here. Smoothing that out. Street being pretty smooth though. Get that down there. Smooth. Oh yeah, that's it right there. That's the stuff. some bubbling going on but I don't think that's gonna hurt nothing because with the glue and everything even the roads I want to make it as smooth as I can right now so it's not so difficult to shape but even the roads gonna be its own texture in the container so we don't need all that I think that'll be all right I made a mess of it I better smooth this out a little bit better the only real rough spot oh yeah that laid down nice. I think we'll let that dry and call that a video. And like I said, I'm not probably won't haul my my camera set up out to the garage to see sanding because it gets kind of messy. But uh, we'll let this cure and all that happy stuff, and then we will. Uh, Here real quick. A couple things caught my eyes. I was about ready to wrap up. <laughs> I can't watch wait to rewatch this video and see all this stuff jumping on the table when I hit it with my knee. But we'll let that cure up and it'll need to be sanded. And I'd like to thank everyone for watching and we'll see you guys next time.